Hey everybody, we're going to talk about versions today. This is a topic which is actually very useful in logic and something that I recommend kind of figuring out. I remember the old days in Pro Tools early on when I would have a project and I would do a save, then a save as like every 30 minutes and every day after that. I'd have a big folder full of projects. And you have to be really careful in how you name them, how you time stamp them and date stamp them, so you always can tell which one is the most recent. Well, we have something in Logic which allows us really to get around that, and that's called Project Alternatives. And we have three main options and then a list of our actual projects down below. So let's just open up a couple of these real quick. Let's start with the very first one. And I'm going to save that as it was. looking for some files that doesn't know where they are. Okay, so this is one of the early ones of, looks like some basic tracking. Let's just play a little bit here. So I'm working on this tracking here. And that's what this project version was about. Let's do the Mando done. Don't save. This is another guitar part here. So recording some additional pieces in that alternative. Looks like I made some progress. I was demoing it to a class. I've always thought that would be fun. Disintegrate me instantly. So you can see I just have all these different versions of this that I have access to. I don't have to look for them in a folder. They all show up straight inside. They're actually going to one of my other monitors, but all kinds of things you can do differently in each of these, and they're all saved separately, but they're all within the same menu here. up until that very last one, which is the one I've been working off of most recently. Okay, so these versions are pretty awesome. The other options we have, we can edit the alternatives and we can also export them as individual projects. This just allows us to come in here, we can see, this, see the save date, and we can change the name or we can remove it. Not a ton of options there. And then we can also, like I said, export. Now if we want to get these parts from one to another, it's as simple as you can copy and paste if you want, but we've looked at previously pulling in project parts from other projects, and so there's a lot of options there. But for the most part, just go between them, copy and paste the things you want to get back and forth or import from the other project. That's all I wanted to just really quickly show you today. Hope you're enjoying your week and have a great weekend.